15 minutes past the hour. Authorities in Uganda now believe as many as 500 members of a suspected doomsday cult died in Friday's mass suicide and or murder, a bit unclear. Police say the doors and windows of the group's church were nailed shut before the church was set ablaze. Well, the leaders of that cult had told followers that doomsday would come during the millennium year and promised to deliver them to heaven. Here now to explain the power of cults in the U.S. and around the globe, Rabbi Yaakov Spivak, who is international director of MS Organization. That's a cult awareness group. Rabbi, great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you, Greg. Tell us what you know about this particular cult. This cult uh, was the uh, movement for the restoration of the Ten Commandments of God. It was a syncretic Christian religious cult uh, whose uh, goal was to take over from the Ugandan politicians who they claimed could not meet the daily needs of their people. And uh, in the perspective of history, this uh, cults have always taken over when governments have failed. Uh, the, the failure of the Weimar Republic in Germany caused uh, the people to go to Adolf Hitler. And uh, the allegiance was no longer sworn to Deutschland, it was uh, Germany, it was sworn to Adolf Hitler himself. It was a cult of Hitler. Uh, and Hitler claimed to have the divine powers, the motto of the SS, of the, the Wehrmacht, the German army was Gott mit uns, God is with us. Hirohito in Japan at the same time, although our fathers and grandfathers fathers came back and didn't realize it. They were fighting a cult. He spoke to them the first time after the atom bomb. He was a god. The kamikazes that, 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 that uh, uh, rammed into American ships, the suicide planes, were basically, uh, uh, kamikaze means divine wind. They were, they were basically cults. So the cult comes about when people get fed up with the uh, conventional uh, mainstream uh, uh, powers. And is it just their, their living conditions and, and their sense of Futility, or is there a particular kind of person and personality that is prone to being attracted to a cult? Well, it's someone who uh, doesn't want responsibility. It's someone who says, "Let the other person worry about these things. I don't want. I don't want to care about it." I walk in. I leave my brains on the, at the door. I also leave my wallet at the door, and I leave all my cares at the world at the door. This is what happened uh, in uh, the Jim Jim Jones cult in Guyana. It happened at the Heaven's Gate cult in in, in uh, San Francisco. And it happened in Waco, and uh, today is the fifth anniversary of uh, the uh, Doomsday Cult in Japan. People who who have uh, live in despair uh, want another person to take over their life. And and because they are so susceptible to being programmed or brainwashed, is that what makes cults inherently dangerous? Because they might not just kill themselves, but rather commit other acts of violence against other people. That's it. Once, once you swear allegiance to someone, you'll do whatever that person says, and you're willing to give up your life. People are astounded at the fact that Jim Jones could do what he did sure. in Guyana. They're astounded that this man uh, in Uganda could have gotten 450 people to emulate themselves, and that's a horrible death by, by fire. But uh, when you uh, believe in someone, you'll, you're able to do anything. You'll, you'll, you'll kill yourself by burning. You'll swallow uh, 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 cyanide from Kool-Aid is in case of Jim Jones, or you'll take a, a, a Japanese Zero plane and ram it into a, and kill yourself ramming it into an American ship. Rabbi Yaakov Spivak, thanks very much for being with us. Appreciate it. When we come back.